successfully selling hot homes. Welcome to Sage Acquisitions, the asset management company contracted by HUD to manage the HUD sales process in 18 states and U.S. territories. The areas it covers will cover in a few slides from now. Sage Acquisitions reaches out to real estate professionals across the nation with the goal of moving HUD homes. This HUD sales training video is provided by Richard Stewart at REO Specialists, LLC. Our class objectives are to introduce HUD, showing and advertising, bidding processes and e-signature, HUD contract packages, under contract properties, and closings. Our goal is to gain a full understanding of the HUD sales process and increase successful sales. Section 1, Introduction to HUD. The HUD Home Ownership Center is broken into three branches. The first being Mortgagee Compliance Manager, MCM, the Field Services Manager, FSM, and the Asset Manager, in this case, Sage Acquisitions, the AM. Under that, the Local Listing Broker Network. The Property Flowchart, or QC, starts with the Mortgagee initiating FHA claim and initial conveyance to HUD. The MCM then receives the property and ensures condition and markability. If it's rejected, it goes back to the first step. If it's accepted, then the FSM inspects for safe, secure, and markability. If it's rejected, it goes back again. If it is accepted, the AM markets and ensures a marketable condition. The Mortgagee Compliance Manager is one nationwide contractor, Information Systems Network Incorporated, based out of Oklahoma City. It performs a variety of pre- and post-conveyance services to ensure that HUD's interests are protected. Conveyance condition, guidance to mortgagees regarding claims and conveyance, ensure marketable title. Field Services Manager, FSM. There's one contract per state. They identify the FSM on the Contracts tab on each property at hudhomestore.com or sageacq.com under Forms, select your HOC, and FSM Utility Activation Request Forms. The FSM provides property maintenance and preservation services consisting of inspecting the property, securing the property, performing cosmetic enhancements or repairs, and providing ongoing maintenance. The Asset Manager manages and markets sales, process, and properties. They ensure that the property is accurately and competitively valued. They make sure sales achieve the highest net return. They minimize holding time. They handle closings and accounting of funds, and they take customer service and satisfaction. The Asset Manager regions are Region 7A in Georgia, Region 8A, Florida, Puerto Rico, and U.S. Virgin Islands, Region 4A, Indiana and Kentucky, Region 1D, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, North Texas, Region 1P, Michigan, Region 4P, Ohio, and Region 5P, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and West Virginia. Property Flowchart, or QC. HUD, or SAGE, also contracts local listing brokers to provide full listing services on HUD homes. The LLB responsibilities include listing on MLS, most appropriate in mainstream MLS for the area. They place a sign in the yard. They provide routine inspections and reports. They provide customer service and informational resources on HUD listings and HUD sales processes. They provide wide market exposure of the HUD sales process in the properties, and they deliver EM checks to closing agents upon contract execution. HUD selling agents play a critical role in the success of the HUD sales program. Keep your eyes and ears open. We want to hear from you. NAID registration. Any licensed real estate agent can sell HUD homes. Brokerages, not individual selling agents that actually register with HUD. When a brokerage registers with HUD, the brokerage will receive an NAID number, which will be used by all agents in that brokerage. To become registered, your principal broker will need to complete the broker registration package. It's important to note that the NAID package is sent to regional homeownership centers. The accuracy is extremely important. The process takes about six to eight weeks and it must be renewed annually. Expectations for agents. Quality in all work and all aspects of working with HUD and this process. Professionalism, 
when interacting with the buying public and other selling agents and everyone and every aspect involved in the HUD selling process. Communication with not only buyers and those involved with your transaction, but also with the SAGE team to express concerns or suggestions or ideas that become evident to you as you work in the field and become involved in HUD selling. Motivation to make the sales and move HUD properties. And teamwork as a real estate community and with SAGE to work towards the the continued betterment of the Georgia HUD sales process and ensure that the HUD process is always operating as successfully as possible. What is a HUD home? It is not low-end housing. It's defined as a one to four unit single family residence acquired as a result of a foreclosure on an FHA insured mortgage. They are offered for sale at fair market value based on a recent appraisal. They vary in price, location, and condition. HUD homes are for sale throughout the state some are moving ready, others are not. They are all sold as is. Understanding as is means no warranties, guarantees, or representations about the property, FHA insurable or otherwise. No repairs, with exceptions to safe, secure, and marketable. Buyers are allowed and encouraged to get independent home inspections. Buyers do not typically acquire bills or liens. Who can buy a HUD home? Anyone. Buyers will fall into one of three categories, an owner-occupant, investor, or a government agency and HUD-approved nonprofit organization. Buyer types. Owner-occupants are given priority during certain cycles. They must occupy the house for one year. They cannot participate in HUD sales for two years after the purchase. Investors have no restriction on the quantity and they are different bidding cycles than the owner-occupant. HUD's Special Programs Properties eligible for HUD Special Programs will list to a lottery round before they are listed for sale to the general public. There are two types of lottery round eligible bidders, GNND and HUD-approved nonprofit or government agencies. Information on becoming a HUD-approved nonprofit organization is at HUD.gov. GNND eligibility will be indicated on the listing. The Good Neighbor Next Door program is designed to enhance communities by offering discounts on HUD homes to firefighters, EMTs, police, and teachers. They'll get 50% off the property list price, as well as being allowed to only put down a $100 down payment. There are requirements, though. The property must be located in a designated revitalization area. The buyer must live in the home for at least 36 months, The buyer nor spouse may not have owned title to property in the last 12 months, and the bidder nor spouse cannot have ever before participated in the GNND program. Additionally, they must also bid 100% of the listing price, and the amount of the earnest money deposit required is an amount equal to 1% of the list price, but no less than $500, and no more than $2,000. They can utilize any type of financing or cash deal. And for FHA financing on a GNND, they must qualify for the entire contract amount prior to the discount. They can finance into the mortgage all reasonable and customary closing costs, including prepaids and real estate commissions. HUD will not pay any closing costs or real estate commissions. HUD's Home Ownership Incentives $100 down It's available to owner-occupant buyers who purchase a HUD home with FHA financing in the Atlanta and Philadelphia Homeownership Center areas. It's indicated on line four. There's a lender MCAW form, and the buyer is still responsible for earnest money deposit. There's an agent bonus in the Philadelphia HOC. The real estate selling agents, the agent for the buyer, gets $500 for every HUD home purchased with an FHA rehab loan. Get connected. Some resources for agents is sageacq.com for calendar of events, updates, registration, forms, and etc. Other important sites are hud.gov, it's a national resource for HUD information, and hudhomestore.com where you'll find your HUD listings. Some social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, you'll have networking, news, updates, featured listings, and featured info. Sage Buyer Outreach Events can be found at sageacq.com events. 
Section 3. Bidding on HUD Homes First, create a bidder account. It's easy and free. Go to the HUDHomestore.com, register as bidder in the top right corner. You'll need your brokerage's active NAID number to set up this account. You will log into this account later when you begin the bidding process. Finding Properties HUD properties are available for sale under the local listing broker with a sign in the yard. They're listed on the MLS, and SageACQ.com provides a link to HUD Home Store. It's a recommended method of searching for HUD homes. It's free, and it's public access website. Unlisted HUD properties are through SageACQ.com, with a link to the HUD Home Store and a search field on the first page. You input the address and view the property contacts. Listing codes. Some online listing codes are accompanied with codes representing the financing options and or property conditions of the property for sale. Code F indicates a flood zone. It means the property is located in an area where coverage under the National Flood Insurance Program may be required to obtain a loan. HOA code indicates homeowners association. That means the property is covered by a homeowners association which will most likely require HOA fees and dues to be paid by the home occupant. And the code LBP indicates lead-based paint. That means the property was built before 1978 and may contain lead-based paint. The LBP addendum form must accompany the sales contract. LBP stabilization. HUD will fund up to $4,000. For stabilization exceeding $4,000, HUD will, at their sole discretion, cancel the sales contract and buyer receiving 100% of the earnest money back and allowed to change financing to 203k conventional or 203k streamline only if it's less than $10,000. Review the LBP addendum with your buyer if applicable before placing a bid. Get familiar with FHA. Other financing codes show eligibility for the FHA 203b. Cash or conventional do not apply. The code IN indicates insurable, means the property meets FHA 203B financing requirements. No obvious repairs necessary to insure an FHA loan to buyer. The code IE indicates insurable with escrow. That means the property is eligible for a 203B FHA loan with necessary repairs totaling less than $10,000. And the UI code indicates uninsurable. That means the property requires more extensive repairs after the close of escrow and is not eligible for FHA mortgage insurance in the properties as is condition. Insurable with escrow. Repair escrow only applies to FHA 203B financing. It's not a gift from HUD. It's added to the mortgage. The sales price remains the same. There's a list of required repairs and the lender is responsible for repairs, licensed contractor, and determining repair amounts. No repairs prior to closing. Bidding periods. Properties will list daily. There's lottery properties, properties included in the special programs, general market listings, all other properties, sealed bidding or exclusive bidding. The bids will accumulate over the entire length of the bidding period and will be reviewed the day after the close of this period. And daily bidding or extended bidding. Individual 24-hour bidding periods. The lottery round listings go before the general market. They go for seven days and only for government agencies, nonprofits, and GNND buyers. The general market listings are for insured or insured with repair escrow. There's a 15 day owner occupancy exclusive, 10 days for accumulated sealed bidding, and five days daily bidding. All bidders are allowed on day 16. Uninsured, there's a five-day owner-occupant exclusive sealed bidding, and all bidders are allowed on day six. Let's look at HUDHomestore.com to learn about how to search for properties, PCR or property condition report, the virtual tours, bid deadlines, and property contacts. The HUD Home Bid Processing The HUD Home Bidding Process HUD homes are sold via an online electronic bidding process. It's the only way to buy a HUD home. In promotion of home ownership, buyers who are bidding as an owner-occupant receive priority for a given amount of time. 
the agents must submit bids on a buyer's behalf. Let's look at HUDHomestore.com to learn about how to search for properties, PCR, Property Condition Report, and virtual tours, bid deadlines, and property contacts. Submitting a bid. Bids will be submitted online. The information entered on the bid submission page will become the first page of the sales contract. Bid lines. Line 3 is the offer price. Line 4 is the type of financing. Line 5 is for closing costs. Line 6, agent commission. Line 7, net to HUD. Line 8, buyer type. With the introduction of e-signatures on HUD contracts, information is required that was not previously requested. Closing costs and commissions. Closing costs on line 5. HUD will allow up to 3% of the purchase price of the property to go toward closing costs and closing agent fees. The buyer is responsible for closing agent fees that are not included in the bid. The buyer is responsible for closing costs if there is an insufficiency of funds to go toward closing agent fees. Enter this numeric figure, not percentage, on line 5. The commission on line 6A. HUD will allow up to 3% of the purchase price of the property to go toward agent commission. No commission will be paid if the buyer is a licensed selling agent. Line 6B will populate 3% for listing broker commission. Lines 5 and 6A affect the net to HUD. Closing costs, or prepaids, auto paid by HUD. Proration of property taxes and any special assessments such as homeowners association fees and utility bills condominium or HOA transfer fee if applicable. Cost to provide condominium documents to purchaser. If paid in advance, seek prior approval to ensure reimbursement. And a $200 repair escrow hold fee if applicable. Recording fees for the grant deed only. Minimum commission. $1,000 minimum commission for properties listed at $33,500 or less. For example, a property listed at $40,000 and the buyer bids $26,000 and has acceptance equals a standard 3% commission applies for each side. A standard 3% HUD commission applies for all other properties. An important note on commissions. The commission level is set by the list price. If HUDHomestore.com has incorrectly marked a listing as eligible or ineligible for the appropriate commission, contact the asset manager before placing a bid. Once a bid is awarded, you cannot change the commission. Additional notes about bidding. Bids can be submitted 24-7, but are not reviewed on federal holidays or weekends. Bids submitted on Friday will be reviewed on Monday, unless Monday is a federal holiday, then Tuesday. Daily bid deadline is 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. No time preference in bidding. A buyer may only submit one bid per property during Friday, Saturday, and Sunday time frame if those days all fall inside of the same bidding period. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday bids are considered in the same bid grouping. Holiday bids are grouped with the previous day's bids. Winning bids selected automatically by HUD's system. If Sage receives two acceptable bids, which are the exact same amount, we will select the winner by a randomized electronic drawing. If you place a bid you wish to withdraw, you must cancel this bid prior to the day's bid deadline. Winning bids are selected automatically by HUD's system. Bid cancellations. The listing broker will be copied on emails regarding prelim bid cancels. With reasons for canceling, there's a failure to remit contract, failure to submit an accurate contract package, the EM will be returned to the selling agent by the listing broker, and the agent or buyer cancels voluntarily. Bid cancellation form is then sent to the selling agent by Sage to be submitted to the listing broker for release of funds. Check bid results. On the bid deadline day, all offers are reviewed and then accepted, rejected, or counteroffered. You'll be notified via email by Sage or HUD Home Store if your bid is accepted and the information will be posted on HUD Home Store along with any backup offers that may be acceptable. The LLB will also contact you with specific instructions for submitting your contract, earnest money, and buyer select closing agents. Counteroffers. All offers within an acceptable range of the threshold will be countered with the final acceptable net to HUD. Because your bid may not be the only offer countered, please respond with your best offer. Do not counter with a counter. Earnest money. Deposit amounts are certified funds only. $500 for sale price is under $50,000 
and $1,000 for sales prices $50,001 and up. 1D, 7A, and 5P only areas get $2,000 for sale prices $250,000 and up. The selling agent will be responsible for delivering earnest money on all awarded bids to the listing broker. The listing broker will only accept certified funds and will verify the correct amount of earnest money in the name of the payee. The payee will always be the closing agent. The listing broker will ensure that the earnest money is remitted within two business days of contract execution by SAGE to the closing agent, and it may be entirely or partially forfeited or refunded if the contract fails to close. Specifics are outlined in the forfeiture and extension policy. Introducing e-signatures on HUD contracts. Tips. When an agent places a bid on the HUD home store, additional information is required that was not previously required. Make sure all information is accurate to avoid delays. Read all the instructions and follow up timely. Read all emails from DocuSign, HUD Home Store, and Sage Acquisitions for a smooth process. The agent placing the bid must also make sure that the e-signature signer information is accurate for who will sign for them as the broker. Next step, bidding on HUD homes with e-signatures. Adding the buyer select closing company. As you type in the buyer selected closing company name, a drop-down list of closing companies already established with a title ID will appear. Closing companies without an established title ID. If the closing company name and location they want to use is listed, go ahead and choose it from the drop-down. Choosing from the drop-down will auto-populate the other corresponding information that HUD has on file for the company. What if the closing company is not listed in the drop-down? If the company location is not listed, continue typing and complete the fields with the company information. A title ID will be established for the closing agent. Next step, bid acceptance. Bid acceptance emails. Agents with bids awarded that are eligible to use the e-signature process will receive two emails from do-not-reply at hudhomestore.com. Email number one is the selling broker bid acceptance notice. Email number two is the bid acceptance final verification. Review submission and upload earnest money. Upon receipt of the bid acceptance final verification email, the agent who placed the bid on the HUD home store should log back into their account and review, edit, and verify all information submitted. At this time, the agents must also upload the following in order for Sage acquisitions to move forward. A copy of the earnest money check that they have delivered or will deliver to the listing broker's office. Proof of funds. And the BSCA updated E&O insurance and license information if required. After your bid is accepted. Log into your HUD home store account and click accepted bids. Once in accepted bids, click checklist on the right. Keep or edit the designated broker. If using your broker, ensure that they are aware an email is coming and they must digitally sign. Keep or edit the purchaser information. This email address is where the e-signature will be emailed. Check Verify Purchaser box, then click Save Purchaser Changes. Keep or edit the closing attorney information. This is where the e-sig will be emailed. Check Verify Title or Buyer's Select box then click Save Title Changes. Don't forget, be sure to upload the BSCA's updated E&O insurance and license if required. Conflict of Interest. This is a second chance to confirm there isn't a conflict of interest. If there is no conflict, click Save All Changes. Once all the steps are completed and all information is verified as accurate, then load an image of the earnest money at the bottom of the page and click Save All Changes. Delivering buyer's loan letter or proof of funds. The actual certified funds EMD check, payable to closing agent company chosen, must still be delivered to the listing broker's office within two days of the bid award. Along with the earnest money, the buyer's agent needs to provide to the listing broker a copy of the buyer's loan letter or proof of cash funds. Without the listing broker confirming receipt of a valid earnest money check, and without the loan letter or POF, Sage Acquisitions cannot generate the e-signature envelope. Next step, the e-signature envelope. 
Reviewing the contract package. Once Sage Acquisitions is able to generate the e-signature envelope, the agent who placed the bid on HUD Home Store will receive an email from dse at docusign.net to review the contract package before signatures are requested. The agent will not sign anything at this time. They are reviewing the package for accuracy. Approving the contract package for signatures. Once they click on Finish and confirm that the package is ready for signatures, emails are sent from dse at docusign.net to the parties needing to sign in the following order. First, the broker or designated signer. Second, the buyer or buyers simultaneously of multiple buyers. Third, the buyer selected closing company escrow officer. And lastly, the Sage acquisitions. Next step is contract execution. Once Sage Acquisitions has signed the contract and executed the file, all parties who signed the package will receive another email from DSC at DocuSign.net with a copy of the fully signed package. Contract Corrections You'll have one business day to return corrected contracts. The contract will be canceled or awarded to the next highest bidder if the contract is returned still containing errors. Submitting Amendments Contract corrections, revisions, and amendments can be received via email. At sageacq.com, on the Forms tab, under Amendments, there's Sales Contract, Add or Remove Purchaser, Change of Financing, Contract Corrections, which are corrections to buyer's name, address, or vesting. These amendments are not valid unless approved in writing by both seller and purchaser. Only Sage is able to modify terms of contract and process any changes to the contract. Amendment Information To change financing from 203k to any other method of financing or cash, the contract loses 15 days. It's retroactive, so the contract may now become expired due to this reduction, and an extension will need to be filed. Support the extension with evidence of ability to close so as it can be approved. Fees may not be waived. The buyer will be responsible for reimbursing HUD for completed termite and LBP inspections and stabilization. To change financing from other or cash to any other type of FHA, the LBP and termite must now be ordered. The termites five to seven day business days for inspection if the WDO found additional time necessary for treatment and clearance. The LBP inspection, which is seven to 10 business days for inspection if the hazard found additional time for abatement and final clearance. To change financing from FHA to non-FHA transaction, the cost of LBP and termite is now absorbed by the buyer. It will be included on the settlement at closing to repay the seller. The WDO averages about $100 just for the inspection. The LBP averages $700 just for the inspection. Any treatment or abatement will add additional costs. To change financing on properties built prior to 1978, you must submit the LBP addendum with amendments that reflect the financing change. If changing to 203K, you must submit the 203K financing LBP addendum in addition to the standard LBP addendum. To make changes to the address or name changes, they're not necessarily a quick fix and will not be done the day of closing. Address changes require research and must be verified before approved and they may reveal bigger issues that delay or prevent sales, so please be patient. To make escrow changes, an amendment must be filed and signed by SAGE. To make buyer type changes, they're not always approved based on bidding cycles and if the change is permissible. Remember, amendments may take up to 72 hours to process. Amendments will not be executed the day of closing and failure to follow the above-mentioned rules may result in a delayed or rescheduled closing. BSCA Amendment Changes This is important. Line 9 must accurately reflect the office closing the transaction. Do not wait until closing to do this. The sooner the better. Amendments for BSCA Changes What do I do if the buyer changes their BSCA? First, submit an addendum reflecting the new BSCA on line 3 and line 9. Then submit a new BSCA addendum. Then submit license and E&O 
for the new BSC-8. Then submit a copy of the new EM made payable to the new BSC-8 to SAGE. And then submit original EM funds to the listing broker. All items must be received prior to processing. Once approved, the LLB will be advised to remit EM to new BSCA and old BSCA will be advised to release the funds. Section 5. Under Contract Properties Home Inspections. They're optional, but highly recommended. There's a 15-day due diligence period for owner-occupants. The borrower will be allowed to get a home inspection anytime during the process. They must have FSM authorize your home inspection. You cannot begin process until the contract is signed. You'll have 48 hours to complete your home inspection after the last utility is turned on, and you must turn off utilities after the inspection. Termite Letters Stipulations for HUD to provide a termites and WDO letter is state or zone mandated and FHA financing must meet either of the above conditions. HUD will fund treatment and repairs. If the property does not meet the above conditions, the buyer can have inspection performed at any time at their own cost if their contract is accepted, and the buyer will be responsible for treatment and repairs after the closing. LBP stabilization. Stipulations for HUD to complete an LBP assessment. It must be built before 1978, must be owner-occupant, and it must be FHA financing. It must meet all of the above conditions. These requests made to the FSM for inspection through AM via P260 at contract execution. Then HUD will fund up to $4,000. For stabilization exceeding $4,000, HUD will, at their sole discretion, cancel the sales contract and the buyer would receive 100% of the EM back or allowed to change financing to 203K conventional or 203K streamlined only if it's less than $5,000. LBP and WDO. To inquire about the status or receive a copy of the applicable reports, email Atlanta, Denver, or Philadelphia dot WDO LBP at sageacq.com. Under contract vandalism, download the form, complete and email it to Atlanta or Denver or Philadelphia Dot vandalism at sageacq.com. There are options for moving forward toward closing, postponing, closing, and extension fees. Remember, buyers cannot move in or start repairs prior to closing, and selling agents must accompany buyers, inspectors, etc. to HUD properties at all times prior to closing. Pre-closing activities. The closing agent establishes a closing file immediately upon the receipt of a complete contract package. A complete contract package includes the signed sales purchase contract, the HUD 9548 with any addendums and amendments, and the earnest money, the certified funds only, which is a cashier's check or money order. The closing agent requests all HOA fees, taxes, utilities, and any other demands. The closing agent forwards all applicable demands with supporting documents to closing.invoice at sageacq.com for approval. Demands remitted no later than 10 days prior to closing to ensure timely payment and approval. The fees requiring payment in advance of closing. The closing agent selling agent cannot pay fees for, including but not limited to, paid assessment letters, deed or transfer stamps without prior approval from SAGE. Reimbursement on the HUD-1 out of the seller's proceeds for payment of these fees will not occur without prior approval from SAGE. Send requests with supporting documents to SAGE. Approval to pay and seek reimbursement on the HUD-1 will be sent back to remitter via email within 48 hours. Reimbursement will not occur if the file fails to close. The closing agent shall process and handle any and all loan documents the lender requires for a customary HUD closing. To ensure there are no delays, the closing agent shall provide timely processing and delivery of the signed loan documents to the lender. Please be notified in some instances a sale may be canceled by HUD or SAGE due to title issues. In these instances, 
the purchaser will not be reimbursed for fees incurred prior to the cancellation. Section 6. Closings The FHA conventional closes 45 days from the contract acceptance. Cash closings close 30 days from the contract acceptance and 203k closings close 60 days from the contract acceptance. Extensions. When the property sales cost is zero to $25,000, there's a $10 per day fee. The time frame is 15 day increments and the total extension fee to the buyer is $150. The property sales cost is $25,001 to $50,000. There's a $15 per day fee. The time frame is 15 day increments and the total extension fee to buyer is $225. When the property sales cost exceeds $50,001, the per day fee is $25. The time frame is still 15 day increments, but the total extension fee to the buyer is $375. Extensions are purchased and granted in 15 day packages. If the contract closes prior to the use of all 15 days, the remaining per day fee will be prorated to the buyer and refunded by escrow. Extensions must be submitted in the form of certified funds. Fee and request forms must be submitted to SAGE five days prior to expiration. Hard copies must be remitted with the fee to SAGE's office. The fee must be made payable to HUD. It must include supporting documentation including current lender letter or proof of cash funds and extension fee. Extension emails are Atlanta, Denver or Philadelphia dot extension at sageacq.com. Sage will return via email the executed extension form indicating approved or denied to the selling agent. Waived fees are available. Delays by HUD, Sage, or FSM. Owner occupants will be granted one fee extension when there has been a delay with financing and all buyer documents have been submitted timely. Two free extensions will be granted in 15 day increments for 203k loans. A buyer will not be reimbursed for lender lock rate extensions regardless of the cause of delay, and all extensions are subject to approval by SAGE. Canceling the contract. If you are made aware that a purchaser is not going to close, please contact SAGE ASAP. Do not let the contract just cancel on its own. Use the contract release and earnest money disposition request forms from our website to initiate contract cancellation processes. Accompany them with the necessary documentation to request a refund. An email to Atlanta, Denver, or Philadelphia dot cancellation at sageacq.com. An email will be sent to the selling agent and listing broker and the BSCA with a determination of release of earnest money. Failure to submit a cancellation will result in automatic forfeiture of earnest money. It is important to submit these forms prior to the expiration of the sales contract. Pre-closing walkthrough. We recommend that you complete the day prior to or the day of closing. If the lockbox is removed, coordinate with the LLB to retrieve the key for the buyer. If there are issues, vandalism, etc., contact SAGE ASAP, and the closing will be postponed to attend to those issues, and the extension fee waived. Closing protocol. Closing documents need to be into the closing agent's office from the lender at least five days prior to closing. The closing agent will upload to the portal for SAGE to review. When approved, SAGE will return the document to the closing agent electronically. Two business days after closing has occurred, a final post-closing package is due to SAGE by the closing agent. Post-closing. The buyer can now have utilities activated for permanent use and occupy the premises. Selling agent and listing broker coordinates to ensure buyer is able to gain access to the property. No keys are provided to the buyer or the buyer's agent. The buyer must have locks rekeyed post-closing at their expense. If you need assistance, call our Atlanta office at 877-369-9018 or the Denver office at 888-909-5007 or the Philadelphia office at 888-909-5007. Or email any one of them at Atlanta, Denver, or Philadelphia. Customer service at sageacq.com. Thank you for participating.